ladies, gentlemen, plutocrats of the world, financial sharks, it is indeed time for uh, for the next playthrough of Plutocracy. This time, we're going to be playing it in the ultimate hard mode. I don't know how hard it's going to be. Hopefully not, uh, not too hard. Hopefully. We'll be able to win. Hopefully we'll be able to succeed and make ourselves a heck of a lot of money. Right, I'm just going to go about setting up the game right now. But whilst I'm doing this, I, uh, I should probably take this opportunity to say, for the first time ever, I am actually, I'm actually, actually selling a little bit of merch. That's right, it's time for me to be a financial shark of my own. Uh, so, so check it out, have a little look, see what you think, uh, head on over to the link in the description if you're interested in buying yourself, or a loved one, or, or anyone, actually, a lovely little bit of, uh, of Orbital Potato merch. There is, of course, the Sleek Collection, there is the Bold Collection, I would, I would advise the Sleek Collection, I, I, the Bold is, the Bold Collection is for people who are really very, very bold, but if you're interested, check it out, and, you know, all of the sales help me become an actual financial shark in real life. Uh, so there you go. Well, they don't actually help me become a financial shark. They help me cover the costs of running a YouTube channel and living my life, paying my rent, and all of that nonsense. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the game. Let's talk a little bit about the game and how things are going to differ this time. So as I've already said, we are going to be playing on the Financial Shark difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty. I don't know how that changes anything. Who honestly knows? I, I have no idea at all. Right. We are competing. I don't even know who our opponent is. Um, in fact, I can check just by having a little look in the connections tabs. Ava Mitchell. Ava, well, that is grand. Okay. So, let's talk strategy, let's talk what we're going to do slightly differently this time. So, I, uh, I like the idea of immediately pursuing quite high dividend companies. That seemed to work not too bad at all. So, let's sort by profitability. Uh, yep, sort by profitability and dividends. Right, so Rhino Bar. Rhino Bar seems like a pretty darn good place to start. Seems like a pretty darn good place to start collecting dividends, that's for sure. However, I want to keep slightly more free cash available this time. Because uh, because I'm always conscious that whenever there is a whenever there is a auction that I want to participate in, I don't usually get the opportunity to do that because there's uh, because you know there's not there's not usually enough cash in my bank account. So let's this time let's try and spend round about round about 50k. Yeah yeah round about 50k. Uh, it's a it's a pretty small stake in the in the company. A little bit of influence, not uh, not anything major, but that's okay. Let's see what we can get. Of course, we want the best price possible. I'm not super bothered about this deal falling through. There are, you know, a multitude of companies that would, uh, that would, that would be successful candidates for me to buy from. But I kind of want to try and, you know, just get my feet under the table with, uh, with this chap. You've immediately bought into this company as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And you've bought in with a 2.11% stake, which makes me think you've got more money than me. You have got more money than me. That's okay, though. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. 50k. Roundabouts. Let's... Let's go again. Look, I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm quietly... Co it's the sludge needle. The strike of the strike of the sludge, sludge needle. It's, it's dreadful. Uh, we need to get this done before the end of the quarter. Otherwise, we are gonna have... We are gonna have issues. That's for sure. So, let's just double down. Let's just double down on getting this deal done. Double down on this deal. Fantastic. That is exactly the, the sort of... The sort of operation that I'm looking for. I mean, look. Honestly, I feel like I should have at least gotten something by now. Let me see what this is. I will participate. 96.1k. Let's, uh, let's immediately... Let's immediately do this. There is no reason not to take this opportunity to try and snap up this stuffed fish. That's right, it's a stuffed fish. What am I gonna do with it? I have absolutely no idea, but I'm gonna sell it. I, well, I say I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea who I'm gonna sell it to, but I'm gonna sell it. And I'm gonna sell it to someone in this state who actually wants it. Who wants a stuffed fish? You, you want a stuffed fish. I mean, that is, truthfully, fantastic. Let me fulfill your ambition. Let me not fulfill your ambition. You don't actually have... You don't actually have the money to pay for that stuffed fish, which is very, very irritating, I must say. 
Uh, you almost certainly will not have the money to pay for this stuffed fish. Yeah, I need to find an investor. I need to find an investor who actually has a little bit of moolah behind him, if you know what I mean. And nobody seems to be that bothered about buying... About buying, uh, about buying antiques. Not antiques, trophies. Oh, fantastic. Great. Great, 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 great. Well, I will quickly... Lovely, just like that. I will flip you the, uh, the stuffed fish. Fine. And that will immediately realize about a 20k profit. So, I mean, that's, that's not too bad if I do say so myself. So that's the sort of, that's the sort of stuff that we need to be doing, you know, just ever more frequently. Right, come on. Let's just, oh, for, for goodness sake, just give me this, just give me this deal. Michty, michty me, this is, this is ridiculous. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna nail this deal, right? I am absolutely gonna nail this deal. Mark my words. If I don't get this deal, well, that this is it means just bad, real bad. If we don't get this deal, we're gonna nail this deal. Yes, that is that is what I want. I think this is gonna be it. This is gonna be this is gonna be our time to shine. It's 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 finally happened. Okay, great. Buyer signature. Get that all wrapped up. Fantastic. So. That still leaves us with uh, with fifty eight thousand in in cash, which is not too bad. Eh, it's a zero point eight percent stake in the company. That in itself is not that impressive, but that's okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, now I would like to fulfill some ambitions if at all possible, but I think I'm going to need just a little bit more cash to do that. Also, we should immediately try and get in the good books of the governor or the prosecutor or the police chief or anyone want to get shares of an oil refining company what is your ambition celery you need 14,000 shares of celery or $14,000 worth of shares in celery well i think i can actually probably do that yeah let me see if i can let me see if i can do that right now so let's fulfill your ambition $14,000 worth or roundabouts you know we'll buy We'll buy $20,000 just to be on the safe side. See if we can try and drive the price down just a little bit. That is looking good. Even if we don't succeed on the first round, which we do, we could still have another round of negotiation. Do I want to have another round? Not particularly. I just want to get this squared away. I'm a financial shark after all. That's right. Buy my merch. I mean, what? Uh, so, you know, just, just, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. All right. You want to buy the oil company? Ambition. Great. Uh... Yeah, I mean, the problem with the problem with selling shares as opposed to selling, as opposed to selling uh, antiques and whatnot, luxury items, doesn't actually increase their loyalty to me. But it does mean that we realize an ambition, which I guess is something. It's not. It's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. But it's yeah. It's not. It's not hugely fantastic. Finance an election campaign. How much is it going to cost to finance your election campaign? Jeez, Louise. Wow, okay, I mean, that is, that is, that is money, that is money right there. Okay, well, I mean, if we're going to, if we're going to finish the quarter with, with cash in hand, then I'm not really sure that I, I'm too happy about that. 32k to participate in this, I mean, I will participate in this auction as much as I possibly can. Um, I would really like to not, wow, that is super, super lucky. That, like, I cannot describe how lucky that is. That is phenomenal news. That means that I've, I mean, well, first of all, managed to spend almost all of the cash that I just have lying around. It, let me, let me go back to the government, see if anyone wants to buy my katana. I don't think so. No, I don't think so at all. Uh, yeah, wow, that is really, really lucky. I'm really super glad that we didn't end up over, overspending. Or, uh, I'm really glad that the auction price didn't go past my means. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're probably not gonna have the money to buy this. Yeah, the the problem is is the legislature congressmen are all really rather um, Really rather poor not wealthy enough not wealthy enough for my tastes, right? So I mean we are gonna immediately realize a 40k profit on this. I mean that is absolutely fantastic So almost almost I mean literally in the first quarter we have increased our uh, our wealth by about 60% This is what it means to be a financial shark that's right. It's true. It's true. It's true. And what we've done pretty much every time is tried our very, very best to, uh, you know, to, to invest our money wisely. 
and realize realize ambitions right from the very start, as opposed to just waiting for those dividends to, to be cashed in. Now, what I am after, what I am after is somebody who wants to buy shares in an oil company. You want to get shares of a transport company? Let me see if I can fulfill your ambition. 91k. 91k in poke. You want to buy poke. Um, I can do that. That would free up. I mean, I, I could do that. I absolutely could do that. But, uh, but 91k is a little bit outside the realm of what I can actually finance. So I'm afraid we're probably going to have to think again about that. What about you? You probably want... Yeah, 178k. I'm afraid 178k just isn't possible. 91k? And you want to buy poke as well. Okay, I mean, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can buy poke. Let's see if we can buy poke. See if we can drive the price down just a little bit. Uh, we can buy poke, but it's going to cost a heck of a lot of money. What about you? What's your ambition? Spike cloud. All right, Spike Cloud. Let's buy Spike Cloud for Julian. This way we can free up uh, free up a couple of agents, get the contact details. You want to sell? Well, well, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I'll buy. Brilliant. What's my stake now, by the way? 2%? 2% stake? That's okay. Let's go back. Let's find Julian. I have absolutely no idea where Julian is supposed to be. I can't sort by name. That's rather irritating. There he is. We found him. Right, fulfill your ambition. And just like that, what do you know? We fulfilled two ambitions. We've got ourselves our first achievement, which is which is really rather nice. Can I fulfill your ambition? You don't have it's okay. Alright, that's green, but it shouldn't be green. That's that's A-OK. -okay. okay, so let's talk about the strategy. Let's talk about the strategy for uh, for increasing our for increasing our, our tech tree, our points. I am very keen, once we start something, we should probably finish it off. So what am I going to need first? What is the tech that I want to complete first? Because I'm going to just, you know, put three points into, into the techs. So if I start with management, I'm going to put three points into there straight away. Um, reduces agent price after use. Need less influence points to start negotiating. I think it's got to be something in diplomacy. I think diplomacy is just a little bit more useful, like straight from the get-go. I think maybe planning. Right, so let's level planning up to max. Also, let's take a quick little look at uh, at our achievements, personal achievements, and how we can go about how we can go about getting this uh, getting this done. Compromising evidence, cash flow, wealth, conducted negotiations. Five negotiations is what we need to do. So I think we should probably try and do two more negotiations before the close of this quarter. That's right. That's right. We're going to do it. We're going to absolutely do it. Ooh, I don't have enough money to fulfill any more ambitions, I don't think. Or at least not the, the ambitions that I had a look at previously. Yours is 73k. Celery? You want celery? 73k of celery? I might be able to do that. And you want Fluke Co., but you want too much money. Too much money's worth of Fluke Co. And you also want Poke. Yeah, we know about Poke. Okay. Yeah, I think I can I think I can fulfill your ambition. Yeah, celery. So let's try and get celery for Nathan Howard. Sure. In fact, I've already got a stake in uh, in, in this company, which is quite nice. Okay. Let's make a deal. I can't even remember, I cannot even remember for the life of me how much, what stake he actually wanted. Sure, 65k, let's, let's do that. I, I honestly cannot remember what size of stake he wanted. Or if it was medium rare, rare, well done. I can't remember anything about his stake qualities. What is this? This is just a, oh, this is so, that's so ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well. I'll um I'll negotiate with Jacob instead because he seems like he's a he's a you know a consummate businessman an actual professional who isn't afflicted by the sludge needle. I mean, what is this garbage? What is this actual garbage? The sludge needle strikes again. Uh, we can try unpausing see if we can. 
Yeah, so we are literally at the last day in the quarter, and it doesn't look like anyone in this company wants to negotiate with me. So Nathan, you're gonna have to wait, I'm afraid. So let's stick all of our all of our money into Ooh. You wanna sell? For 90 92k? Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame because I I have uh I have almost got the money to do that. Am I friendly with anyone? Can I borrow any money? I don't suspect that I'll be able to borrow any money straight from the get-go, but... Yeah. I tell you what, that is something else that I wanted to talk about, is trying to realize people's ambitions and increasing their... Increasing their happiness of me, getting them to like me, getting, increasing their loyalty towards me, so that we can actually borrow money, and borrow money, you know, at, at good rates, at good amounts. Anyway, let's go back to the map, and let's... Let's get uh, let's get our uh, an increased stake in Rhino Bar. Let's let's certainly try. I'll throw all of my money into here, one point nine six stake or whatever, and let's see let's see if we can do this. Sure, sure. Okay. I didn't want to take any chances, and as it turns out, wowzers! I think I was. Pretty, pretty right to do that. Does mean that I will end up going into debt just ever so slightly. If we have a little look. Or maybe I won't end up going into debt. Who actually... I, I thought I would be about 4k in debt, but apparently not. Okay, great. So let's connect... Uh, connect. Let's collect the maximum amount of dividends on, on this. Great, so my net worth is now up to 170k. Don't mind if I do, that is fantastic. And we've also managed to realize about 15k, eh, just a little bit less, about 15k worth of dividends. Right, sell oil refining. Uh, you want to sell your oil refining shares? That's great. Well, let me take this opportunity to, uh, to get in and do that. You want to buy Celery's shares. I mean, look, I can't... I can't really... Thing is, I actually think that this might be worth it, as crazy as it sounds. I know selling at a loss is, is bad, but 25 loyalty, that ain't bad. And it's only a it's only it's only a 6k stake. And it frees up a little bit of cash as well. And it also gets me an achievement, which is pretty darn good. Right, now can I fulfill your ambition? You absolutely will be willing to, to sell me your stake. Great, let me fulfill your ambition. And I buy a stake in a company which I actually want to have. Right, what do you want? Zenith. You want too much money for me. Fine. Right, so we're just going to stick uh, stick points into planning. You know the strategy. That's that's what we're going to do. We're going to complete we're going to complete a, a, a you know a, a single tech first before before going into anything else. Where are we likely to get our next our next point from? That's not really relevant at the moment. Uh, I think we're probably likely to get it from completed ambitions. Completed ambitions definitely seems like the next the next thing that we're after. Purchased stake size, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen in a while. So let's just try and complete some more ambitions in order to in order to level up level up our tech tree a little bit. You want to get shares of an oil refining company? You want to get Rhino Bar? Well, I mean, to be honest, that's no bad thing. That is no bad thing whatsoever. I will sell off all of Rhino Bar. I appreciate that that is, you know, my only money-making stake at the moment. However, it does mean that for an entire quarter, I will have you know, 170k to play around with, which is actually a fairly substantial amount of money. And we'll see if we can find any ambitions that are actually worth pursuing. Want to get shares of a transport company? Yep, by Poke. Okay, we're going to buy 91k of Poke. Fantastic, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's see if we can fulfill some ambitions. Let's make a deal. Not 170k, no siree. Let's try and keep it as slim as we possibly can, sure. And let's just drive the price down a little bit. That looks good. That looks... 
that looks garbage. That looks absolutely garbage. That looks that looks so garbage that I don't even want to talk about how garbage it actually it actually was. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, an original copy of the Constitution. Don't mind if I do. I will absolutely participate in this. All right, we'll bid we'll bid up to the market price because I know that I can guarantee myself a profit if I buy it for less than the market price. All right. Even up to 105k, I'll be I'll be prepared to pay. If we if we buy it for you know for anything less than the market price, it means within this quarter we will be able to sell it for a profit. So I mean immediately right there, as long as we can find the buyer, as long as we can find somebody who's actually willing to buy an original copy of the Flippin Constitution, then we will be absolutely a okay, and we will be able to in fact make a tight little 10k profit on it. That's the plan anyway. I'm pretty sure you will not have the money for it. Yeah, you will not have you will not have the money. It's a bit of a bummer. You're an investor, you probably will have the money. Brilliant. That's a that's a 10k profit. I mean, it's not it's not massive, but it's uh but it's not bad either. And, you know, it's just it's uh it's extra. It's extra. It's a little a little extra for the coffers, which is lovely. Anyway, let's go back to buying to buying poke, which is a ridiculous name, but that's okay. Oh, you would have bought an antique, wouldn't you? You would definitely have bought an antique. Failed negotiation minus 30 points. Okay, looks like poke is off the uh, off the menu then, I'm afraid. That's that's a bit of a bummer. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't go that way, but that's okay. Uh, what is your ambition? Your ambition is quota, 101k of quota. 101k of quota. I think I can probably do that. Let's sort by name. All right. 101k of quota. Sure. Let's make a deal with you. Yeah, we'll go for. Yeah, we'll go for something, something, something akin to that. That's not too bad. And the good news is that I think we're about to make a deal first time around here. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Sign on the dotted line. And then we flip for a little tiny profit. A little tiny profit. Very, very tiny indeed. I believe... Yep, here it is. There we go. Fantastic. So we're actually making the profit in the negotiation. So because we're buying because we're buying the shares for under the market price, we are actually making a tiny little profit in the negotiation, which is quite nice. Very, very nice, in fact. You want to buy celery. You want to buy celery shares. Okay, celery shares I can do. Celery and spike cloud. Celery and spike cloud. Cool. How much did you want of how much do you want of celery? 73k of celery, 20k of spike cloud. Right. We can do both of those things. 73k of celery. Or roundabouts there. Yeah. Yeah, about that much, sure. Uh, drive the price down a little bit. Brilliant. This looks like a, like a win immediately. Fantastic. I'll take that. Okay, and then 20k of spike cloud as well. Ba, 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 ba. Spike cloud, which we cannot negotiate. We can't we can negotiate with anyone here. All right, that's a bummer, but I mean that's the reality of the world that we live in. Let's uh, let's fulfill your ambition. Wait, hold on a minute. You don't actually have the, you don't actually have the money. You don't actually have the money to buy celery shares. That is, that is the world's biggest, that is the world's biggest debate. It's the biggest debate that we've ever seen, I'm afraid, folks. This is, this is dreadful. It's absolutely terrible news. Okay, um, let's see if I can fulfill any other ambitions. I don't think I can. Let me just go through, let me just go through the, uh, the quarter. See if there's another auction that comes up that I want to participate in. Chances are I probably do. 104k is not, uh, you know... It's not not a not a not a paltry amount of cash. I will absolutely participate in this. 
see if we can make a quick buck. Probably won't be too much profit on this one. Uh, just because of the fact that, you know... Oh, I've already overbid. I've already overbid. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. That is indeed a bit of a bummer. I didn't realize that I'd overbid, and I didn't really want to overbid, but that's okay. That is... that is fine. Uh, so, let's go towards the end of the quarter, see if there's anything else that comes up. I doubt there will be. We've still got 89k in the bank. It's fine. Sort by dividends. Sort by profitability. And we will reinvest in uh, in Rhino Bar. Brilliant. We'll stick all of our money into Rhino Bar. 89k. Sure. I don't, I don't like increasing the chances of a, a deal succeeding, but if we have to in order to guarantee the fact that it'll succeed, then let's do it. Right, brilliant. So now we're, now we are completely out of money, which is fine. Do we have any debt? We should have some debt. I'm pretty sure we should. Don't know where it's all gone. I don't know where, I don't know, I don't know where the, the, the overspend is going. I mean, I spent about 92,000 on those shares and I only had like 89,000 in the bank account, so... Not entirely sure what's happened. Uh, we got a little bit of money. A little bit of money. Not too not too impressive. It's not too bad, though, in terms of the net worth. It's, it's not looking not looking too paltry at this stage in the game. Your income is 27.5k. Now, where are you invested? Let me have a little look at my opponent. I want to keep I want to keep an eye on my opponent a little bit uh, a little bit closer this time. 2.55% stake in Rhino Bar. Yeah, you're you're invested the same as the same as me in Rhino Bar, and you got 24k in cash, so presumably you're going to be buying up a little bit of a stake in Rhino Bar over the course of this, over the course of, uh, of this quarter. Now, I still have, I still have the Illuminat cigars. Now, 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 it looks like the market price can go up to about 18.5k, which is higher than the purchase price that I paid for them, so... I mean, presumably, I just got got kind of lucky. The graph trended upwards for me, and uh, and that means that I should be able to should be able to flog this for an increased for an increased amount of money. You want to get shares of an oil refining company? Yes. No. I have your I have your shares, but I I don't want to sell them to you because you're a jerk, and in fact, I want to sell them to you. There we go, fantastic. And now... You want to buy... Ideos. Okay, don't know why that's green. It absolutely shouldn't be. Okay, what do I have? I've got... Oh, I've got alcohol, don't I? I've got... I've got some, some booze and tobacco. I've got cigars. See if I can find anyone that's interested in cigars. Sure. There we go. It's a 3k profit. I mean, it's not much, but it is something. What? Not entirely sure why it didn't sell to the first person there. Wait, I didn't buy one, did I? I didn't buy anything. What happened? Huh. Not sure... Not sure what that was all about. Uh, yeah, so I could double down and get a increased stake in Rhino Bar. I probably will want to do that. I almost certainly will want to do that at some point. I probably want to get rid of this, uh, this stake in Celery, though. Yeah, almost certainly. I wanna, you know, I'll keep a little bit of cash on hand just in case anything comes up at the... at, uh, at auction. As indeed it has. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Again, not much money to be made here, but that's really, really nice if I uh, if I get it on the ground floor there. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep a hold of that object. I mean, it basically didn't cost anything. You want to buy Rhino Bar's shares. Um... Yeah, sure, I guess. I will sell. I will sell, but the reason that I'm gonna sell is because I can easily rebuy them from, you know, the dude at Rhino Bar. With, uh, with fairly minimal effort. American Thoroughbred, and this looks to be, this looks to be a pretty darn good price for what is, for what is a horse. And usually horses go for a heck of a lot more than this. I wonder if there's a little bit of rebalancing that's been done to the auction prices throughout the game. 
because it seems I'm gonna bid. I'm gonna bid. Because it seems like, uh, it seems like there has been. Right, I mean, does anyone want to buy a horse? Does anyone want to buy a horse? I, I, I might have overpaid a little bit for this horse. I know, I, I know, you know, an item is only worth as much as you're willing to sell it for, but, or as much as someone is willing to buy it for. You know what, let me, let me actually not, let me not do that. I mean, collector... I should have two out of three of these collect collector's items right now. Um, let me wait until I get three things in my collection. I'm kind of hoping that that hasn't bugged out. I thought it bugged out in the last playthrough, but I may have been mistaken. But anyway, let's hope that we can flog this horse to someone so that I don't lose a ridiculously large amount of money. I'm going to wait until about three quarters of the way through the through the quarter. Doesn't look like anything is forthcoming. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal and let's pump all of my money into this company. Uh, I, that looks that looks bad. That looks dodgy. I think I still will have an opportunity to negotiate again, maybe even twice before the end of the quarter. And I need to nail this down. I need to get this deal done. Okay, that looks really, really positive. Very, very positive indeed. Fantastic. Great. Minus 5% market price as well. That ain't that ain't bad. In fact, that is really rather nice. Right, what is this? This is a Amphora. Alright, I mean, I can perhaps participate in that if I was to find somebody to sell my horse to. But I don't think I actually want to. I think I just want to go to the next quarter. We'll go to the next quarter. I'll cash the check. I'll get the, you know, get the get the finances in order. Which is wonderful. Which is absolutely wonderful. We'll collect the dividends. Brilliant. 9k, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I'm up to 218k in net worth. That is quite nice. Right, so I want to find somebody. I want to find somebody that has an ambition to buy the shares that I already have. I don't want to sell off any alcohol. I don't want to sell off any tobacco. I don't want to even sell off any horses. I want to get three collector's items. Do horses count as collector's items? I, I, I think they must, right? I think they must. They must. Because this is, you know... Well, maybe, maybe horses don't count as collector's items. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly cannot cannot tell you. I, I don't know. Uh, so maybe we do try and sell off the horse. Are you... You're, yeah, you're not willing to... You are a cheapskate, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it as soon as I saw your job title. I knew you would be a cheapskate. I saw it right there. Is that the same person that I'm trying to sell to? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably, though. Uh, yeah, let me see on the company... The company map. See if anyone's willing to buy any of the shares that I currently have. You are willing to pay a lot, but not quite as much as I'm after. I don't want to sell... I don't want to sell my taste of plutocracy right now. Even though I almost certainly will end up selling it this quarter. Quarter? No. Nobody wants to buy the shares that I seem to have lying around, which is a little bit irritating. I do have a fairly substantial stake in Rhino Bar, so I'm not entirely sure why people ain't wanting to buy that. It's an investor who wants to buy a horse. Brilliant. We're able to realize a tiny little profit from it. Fantastic. And now I should be able to participate in this auction. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if the, the whole collection thing uh, unborks itself. Let's see if it unborks itself, if we get uh, another item added to our collection. That is a substantial, substantial difference in price there. That is honestly fantastic. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, luxury goods. That is really, really good. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. Right, let's go to achievements. Personal achievements. 
Yeah, so collector, it doesn't really seem like it's working. I don't know why. That's a big old bummer right there. That is a real big old bummer if indeed that doesn't that doesn't work. But, you know, I can at least get the next level and, you know, uh, the next level of completed ambitions. That seems to that seems to still be working. Complete 15 character ambitions. Get three collectibles. Yeah, I mean, a collectible is a luxury item, I do believe. I don't think... I don't think that there is... I don't think there is a category of collectibles. Pretty sure there's not, in fact. Pretty sure there's not, but that doesn't particularly matter. Let's, uh, let's let the game play for a little bit. Let's see exactly what we've got in store over the course of this quarter. And, of course, if, uh, if nothing of interest happens, then I'll just pump a bunch of money into Rhino Bar. Let's see what this is. 51k to 107k for a Dirk. Uh, no, unfortunately, I cannot participate in that. Although, in saying that, I should probably sell off... Should probably sell off my alcohol slash tobacco. There we go. Brilliant. I don't have any antiques to sell. I do have antiques to sell, I forgot. Brilliant. There we go, fantastic. And now we've completed... Now we have completed our first our first tech tree. We've completed planning. Get that, uh, get that in there. Current chance to make a deal, plus 20%. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. That is going to help us tremendously. And now I can actually participate in this in this Dirk auction. And there's only four bidders, which is, which is quite nice, in fact. And that is an absolute steal for what we get. Look at my net worth. This is actually ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. I'm, I'm in a very, very comfortable place. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you are not going to have the money to pay what I'm asking. No, indeed, I'm totally correct. So let's find an investor. Let's find an investor who's willing to pay through the teeth. Owen Miller, we've dealt with you before. Or Julian Carter, both of you guys. Look at this. 30k. 30k. It's, it's free money. It's free real estate, folks. It's free real estate. It's absolutely free real estate, and I flippin' love it. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Uh, let's just go, 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 And let me pump some money into... Let me pump some money into... Oh, well, first of all, this auction. See what there actually is. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I can flip. I can flip a product on the auction market. Or I can flip a product to one of my, one of my investor accomplices. I don't want to say friends. My, well, I can I can flip the cigars to my fellow plutocrats. How about that? Okay. Uh, now let's find somebody. Yep, 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 yep. Anyone? Caleb Gray. I mean, look. Unless you're wealthy, I'm not interested. You're wealthy, I'm interested. And that's 20k. Just like that. Just like that, we're up to 300, 300,000 net worth. Well, very, very slightly shy of it. Uh, let's go back to the map and let's start pumping money into the highest dividend, highest profitability, highest profitability company. I'm pretty sure that it is Rhino Bar. Yep, it is indeed, which is which is absolutely fantastic, actually. Uh, we can influence Devin Ross. Don't think I really want to do that quite yet. Now, I do have I do have the first pip in the diplomacy negotiation. So, theoretically, I should match up against my fellow negotiators slightly better. So, it means that I should be able to... Oh, I should be in with a slightly higher chance of, 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 getting, of getting a deal done. Not necessarily a better price in, in any given deal, but certainly getting any deal done. Also, the recharge time on the... or the cooldown time between... between the times between making a deal has now shrunk substantially. Mm. So it's like four or five days now, which is great. Reduce the number of workers. Why Why do I care? I, I am not bothered. Abstain on that one, I'm afraid. Right. Want to buy celery shares? Absolutely. Yes, please. I was never interested in keeping that, keeping that company anyway. Okay. Uh, in the first instance, let me see if I can use an agent. Can I use the cardinal? 
Yeah, let me use the Cardinal on you, and then let me immediately try and renegotiate a better deal. Pump everything into this. Oh, come on. Come on! I saw you, video game. You slowed down that needle. You slowed down that needle. Okay, Paul's on the last day. Hopefully, we're able to make a deal. I'm just going to increase the chances of making a deal here. Okay. Looks like it might be okay. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness... I, I just can't... I just cannot get it. I mean, we've had... We've had basically a 50-50 chance of getting those... That, that deal like three or four times in a row. And I was not able to get it. Okay, so now we need to just choose a company that has similarly high dividends. Zenith. Zenith seems like a, a good place to put my money. You've got a 12% stake. Sure. Let's do it. And actually, we've uh, we've got a little bit of a back and forth. A little bit of back and forth here. Because he doesn't completely hate me. Seems like we're in with a chance of getting a fairly good deal. Minus 14% price. I think I might actually just sign on the dotted line just there. That's that's really quite reasonable, in fact. Yeah, in fact, that is that is really rather quite good. And our our net worth, uh, our net wealth has actually uh, exploded past exploded past 300k. So that's great. And our dividends just at the end of the quarter are going to be uh, are going to be 34.4k. Wonderful. What's this auction? Uh, I doubt that I will be able to participate in that in any meaningful sense, but, you know, I can certainly try. I can certainly try to free up a little bit of capital, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried if indeed, if indeed we need to pass up on, you know, an, the occasional auction. Right, so we are looking for green over here. Brilliant. So you are going to like me, hopefully, just a little bit more, which means that I will be able to keep negotiating with you. That's the plan anyway. 41k... Don't mind if I do. 38, 38, 385k net worth. Let me have a little look at my opponent. How are you doing? I'm actually beating you. I'm actually be I'm actually beating you. That's fantastic. Uh, you are literally just investing in Rhino Bar. You're all in on Rhino Bar. And you got 58, 58k of cash. The fact that you are just investing in one in one company is, I mean, obviously a little bit disturbing and a little bit irritating. I feel like you should probably be doing something a little bit more. Um, I'm going to abstain. Really not that bothered. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my stake is. I don't think it's, it's meaningful in any sense of the, the word. But there we go. Yeah, didn't participate in the auction for the, uh, for the weapon. That's fine. Trophy. What is this here? 73.7k to about 194k. I mean, maybe if I can find somebody to buy my Rhino Bar shares, but I don't really want to sell off my Rhino Bar shares. Yeah. I don't really know why I'm doing this. I do have a fairly substantial stake in this in this company already, but I negotiated with this guy before, and we got a pretty good price on the, the shares that we bought last time. So let's take the opportunity to, you know, try and repeat that again. Zenith seems to be working out for us fairly well. Uh, but yeah, basically no one wants to buy it. No one wants to buy any of our shares, so I'm interested in probably buying into Zenith because we can get a better price on the shares. Also, I'll use an agent. And we don't have any contact with Father Cardinal. The only one that I actually want to use at this moment in time. That's that's unbelievably irritating. Unbelievably irritating. Let's try and deal with this dude again. The price of the price of shares has actually gone up a little bit. It's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, this is gonna be an insta failure. Why? Why, video game? Why? Oh, and he's got more influence than me now, which is a bummer. I could change that. I could change that if I wanted to by using an agent, but it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late now. We're not going to be able to negotiate with him until the end of the quarter. Uh, let me see if I can stick any more money into Rhino Bar. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get one deal done. Right. 
Yes, that is the sort of that is the sort of deal percentages that I'm interested in. Argument A probably slightly better for our purposes. So I will actually take argument A. Nice, that's looking good. We do pay a little bit of a higher price, a little bit of a higher price for our shares, but I mean, look, it's something that I'm totally willing to tolerate. So, I have about half about half of the share. You want to buy Zenith's shares and you want to buy it for 19% above market rate and you want to buy the vast majority of my holding. Absolutely, you can do that. Yes, please. Any day of the week. Now, let me see if I can make another deal with you. I will pay. I will pay through the teeth for it, but I will do it because it means that we are guaranteed dividends in the next quarter, and being guaranteed dividends in the next quarter is, I mean, is fantastic. Okay, so that puts me that puts me up to four hundred fourteen thousand net worth. Ava Mitchell is uh, is still ahead of me in terms of stake in this specific company. In terms of Rhino Bar, I don't really think that there is anything that I can do about that at the moment, unfortunately. Um. I mean, she's making good money. She's making good money from the dividends, but I'm making good money from absolutely everything else, which is great. I'm up to 54 influence, 50, 51,000 in cash. Uh, Liberation cigars. I mean, mm, I might be able to participate in that. Might be able to participate in that uh, in that auction, but only if I can sell stuff off. I don't have any luxuries to sell. I don't know if anyone is interested in buying any of the shares that I currently own? Probably not. Nope. Not several steel. 91k in poke. I can't buy into poke. We've had this discussion before. That's the same. There we go. Uh, 91k in poke as well. Okay, what are the chances that... But it's the same guy. It's the same freaking dude. There's two of everyone. Why is there two of everyone? Well, not everyone, but there's two of some people. Right. What do you want? Oh my goodness. You do rather want... You do rather want a lot. Right, Nathan Howard. I'm pretty sure we tried to get... Uh, ID now. ID now? No, we can't do that. It's too much to ask. 400 and something K. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Spike Cloud. Uh, is anyone selling? I mean, you are selling, but you're selling 800k. Wow. All right. 220k. Uh, uh, difficult to fulfill ambitions when everyone is demanding such a such a large amount of cash. Poke. I can't buy poke. I can buy ID now. ID now is the only company that I think I've seen that I can fit the bill for. The only one that sort of I can actually negotiate with because I need to negotiate with shareholders and I believe that I cannot negotiate with the shareholders of Poke. So that's fine. That is that is fine. Let's uh let's see if we can try and do it. I ID ID now. I don't even know how much we need. Let me let me just buy whatever I can. 2% stake. Sure. Let's make a deal with you. Let's let's put 51k into it. Maybe this is a little bit ridiculous to to do to contemplate, but we'll do it anyway. Minus five percent, minus five percent price. That's that's a okay with me. Sure. So get that uh, get that done and dusted. Then let's go and find the one person who is willing to buy. Who is willing to buy that stake? Was it someone? Uh oh. Was it no one? I'm sure. I'm sure it was someone. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's it's absolutely not. I thought it was... Yeah, but was it Nathan? It's 159. It's 159 that you're after. Oh, I, I have nowhere near that stake price, I'm afraid. Right, well, it looks like we will not be participating in the Liberation cigars. That's fine. Let's just go. Let's just go. Getting a business loan. Um, I mean, I know I hate her. 
I want to vote against her. Rejected. That's right. So hopefully, 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 a bunch of these people will get on my side and will start to dislike her if she continues to do stuff which makes everyone hate her. That's the plan anyway. Uh, who knows if it'll actually work? I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Now, I unfortunately have ended up with a stake that I am distinctly uninterested in keeping. So I'm uninterested in I'm uninterested in my quota share, but that's only a, you know, 5k 5k stake. Not even really interested in Zenith that much, although we can get a pretty good price from buying from that one guy. Uh I do know, I mean this is this is the this is the one. This is the the bad one, really. Um, yeah, this is the bad one. Also, what I should probably do is I should check. Do I have any friends or any allies, whatever the whatever they're called, allies? I don't have any allies. I don't have any allies yet. I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. We're we're certainly moving on up in the in the world. We're trying to befriend as many people as we possibly can. Didn't end up being able to participate in that auction. Bit of a bummer, but I mean, what can you do? You want to buy Rhino Bar shares. You want to buy Rhino Bar shares. It's slightly higher than the market rate. Um, I will take that because there is the opportunity to make money here. First and foremost, in the auction. If the auction was appropriately priced. Even if not in the auction, it means we can still go back to Rhino Bar. And we can still see if we can get a get a deal. You won't want to deal because you bought the shares in the last year. I do believe that if a individual has bought shares in the last year, then they are not likely to sell. And we need to make sure that we drive the price of these shares down. That looks mediocre, to be honest. Very mediocre. In fact, a little bit less than mediocre. It's okay. It's only a four-day cooldown period. period. Uh, so that means that we can immediately try again. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, we will. Oh, no. It's going to be another failure. Okay. Well, this time, we're going to just pay whatever whatever the market is demanding. Whatever whatever Emil wants, I will, I will pay for it. Let's do that. That looks good. That looks good. That looks really, really good. <gasps> it's good enough. It's good enough. And we get a uh, we get a minus two percent. We get a minus two percent uh, a minus two percent modifier as well, which is grand. Okay, so that is all of my money invested before the end of the quarter, which I think is just about as much as we can possibly do at this moment in time. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. This is great. This is very, very good. Very, very good. Quarter three of eighteen seventy one. Already, I feel like I've spent. A lot longer per quarter, uh, but I—it's been—it's been a meaningful—it's been meaningful time that I've spent in each quarter doing all of the junk that I need to do. I say all of the junk, all of the important stuff that I need to do. Also, I haven't had a point in a while. I haven't had a point in a while. Am I? Am I close to a point? Uh, the next point that I'm probably gonna get probably probably is the wealth one. So, uh, you know, a millionaire, become a millionaire. That's probably something that'll happen fairly soon. How is my opponent doing? I must simply have a look at my opponent. Let me see what the situation is. Your wealth is... Higher than mine. Wow. Yours is higher than mine, presumably, because you're just buying... You're just buying into one flipping company. And you had more money from the very get-go, so... You've been able to you've been able to get an accelerated start against me, which I find very unfair. But you know what can I say? I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. So your stake is 5.83 percent. 5.83 percent. I wish I could see what your relationship was like with uh, you know with with uh, with Emil because I don't know I don't know who he's selling to, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty sure Emil's selling to you, Ava, and that kind of that worries me a little bit. That worries me a lot, actually. Why don't we increase the number of workers that we have? Why don't we increase the number of workers? There's no reason not to increase the number of workers. It's just going to be... It's going to be extra money. It's going to be extra money. Ah, it could have been... It could have been so darn simple. 
could have been so darn simple. Can I make a deal with either of these guys? No, no chance. Okay, let's just go through, let's just go through the quarter, see if there's anything, anything that we're interested in doing. Uh, that auction we couldn't actually participate in. This auction we might be able to participate in. Yes, indeed, let's do it. Uh, it's been a while since we've, we've, uh, we've been able to contribute to, uh, to an auction in a meaningful way. And by a meaningful way, I mean we've not even been allowed in the door on most occasions. Probably just because I didn't have anywhere near enough uh, enough money, but that's fine. You want to buy Rhino Bar's shares? Uh, yeah, absolutely. As I as I sort of said, as I sort of said, and I have said consistently throughout the you're in New York buying buying shares. That freaks me out. That worries me. What are you What are you doing in New York? Let me sort by dividends. High dividend returns. You're probably buying into point blank, I would imagine. Or you will probably buy into point blank. Yeah. Anyway, as I've consistently said, I needed to uh, to achieve a higher churn rate so that I, uh, you know, continually, continually try and just get more and more and more, more and more money by uh, by buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. So, which is why I've tried to take almost absolutely every single offer that has been available to me uh, when when somebody has offered to buy shares from me. See if we can try and make a deal with you again, Emil. Yep. Sure. I'll pay a little bit more, but as of course it always needs to be, it always needs to be a failure in the first instance. Of course. I'm just preparing, you know, preemptively. That's a horse. Can we participate in this? We absolutely can participate in this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's buy this horse. Emma Wilson thought that she could get the pony ahead of me. That's not happening. Great. It's a it's not a mind-blowing deal, but it's a it's a good enough deal and it should allow me to sell the horse fairly quickly and then I can stick all of that money into Rhino Bar again. Ambition. That's what I'm after. Uh you've got 6.5 bucks. You've got six and a half dollars on you. I mean that is pretty daft. Oh, I still have some uh, some cognac. Cognac? Cognac. Sure. Let's uh let's do that. I didn't even I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. This is the same guy that's got six point five dollars. Yeah, I'm I'm not selling that to you, I'm afraid, buddy. Okay. Lots of lots of congressmen who want to buy a horse. Let's sell it to you instead. There we go. Fantastic. So that's 150k that I can now stick into the one company that I care about. There we go. The one company that I care about is Rhino Bar. That's right. It's Rhino Bar. Can I make a deal with any of these guys? No. No, because they've only bought their shares within the last year. Right, so, I mean, if I could get a good price on this, then I would be very, very happy, but chances are I'm probably not going to be able to get a very good price on this, but we'll go for argument C nonetheless. I say that, this looks like a good price incoming, or at least a better price than I would usually be able to expect. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, so that takes me up to about a percentage point less than my competitor, Ava. Yeah, which is a little bit of an irritation, a little bit of an irritation, but that's okay. It's not a problem. I can just about cope. I can just about cope. The good news is, is that that's a, well, we're predicted about 70k, 70k uh, over the course of the next turn, over the course of the next quarter, which is actually fairly incredible. That's not something that I can actually complain about at all. That's really, really rather good. Uh, good. Theodore Roosevelt giving us a wonderful motivational quote. Lovely. Now, let me have a little look at Ava's net worth. 672k. I mean, this is going to be pretty darn, pretty darn close, to be honest. I'm, I'm not, uh, not over the moon at how well she's been keeping up. That's, that's very, very irritating. Right. Can I make a deal with any of these guys? No, still can't. They've still not had their shares for a year. Do I have any luxury goods? No, I think I want to hold on to my cash until round about the end of the quarter. See if there's anything that we can buy. A coin. Shame. 
I will not be able to participate in that. It's always good, by the way. It's always good to try and buy coins and houses and horses if you can. Because I feel that the regularity at which they appear at auction is is quite reduced. So if you can go out of your way to try and uh, to try and get them, then it means that you can refresh the... Uh, I'll think on this for a while. It means that you can refresh the ambition of a certain person. And that is a hugely, hugely, hugely good thing to try and do if at all possible. Um... Right, let's participate in the auction. I mean, I, I'm probably not going to get it, but, you know, there is a chance that I might. Anyway, yeah, you want to try and cycle, you want to try and cycle through the ambitions, if at all possible. Means that, you know, if you sell somebody a house, then it means that their ambition will probably re be replaced with something slightly easier to fulfill. So, there you go. Anyway, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like, there's anything else that's interesting that's going to come up at the end of the quarter. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to make uh, Emil a deal that he cannot refuse. That's right. A deal that Emil cannot refuse. Oh, come on. The needle started with such energy and vigor. And then it just all... It all disappeared. Okay. You want to buy Quoter's shares from me? Absolutely. Yes, please. All right, four days. Emil, let's talk. Let's talk business. Let's deal. Let's deal in Rhino Bar shares. Okay, give me a good give me a good offer. Sure. I'll pay two percent above the Ooh, that was that was a little bit closer than I than I would have liked. Five point five seven percent stake. I mean this is good news for me, actually. Let me take a quick little look at my opponent. So my opponent presumably has invested in point blank. Let's have a little check. No, she's not invested in point blank. She would only usually invest in super, super high dividend companies. Maybe she's invested in Pyramid? She invested in Pyramid with a 1% stake. Um, That's good for me. That is That is actually quite good for me. That is, that is actually quite good for me, yeah. Because Pyramid, Pyramid for all of its, for all of its positives, and I suppose there are a lot of positives, it doesn't have a 90% dividend, it doesn't have a 100% dividend, right? So that's something that, uh, that Rhino Bar definitely has on, uh, on Pyramid. So that's pretty darn good. And the fact that she's not just continually investing in Rhino Bar means that it will give me an opportunity to catch up, hopefully. So I should have just about the same size stake as her, I believe. Yeah, very, very close to it. That's for sure. Uh, but the good news is, as I say, is that Rhino Bar has a 100% dividend rate, which is ridiculous. And it's roughly the same size. Seems to be growing eh, occasionally. Doesn't seem to have grown the last couple of quarters. Maybe she was right to get out of Rhino Bar. Maybe she was right to get out of, out of Rhino Bar whilst it whilst the uh, whilst the going was pretty darn good. I don't know actually. I don't know. We'll we'll see we'll see what the CEO is able to do for the company. You want to get shares of a transport company? Uh, maybe I can help fulfill your ambition. You want to buy 370k of top level? Well, let me tell you right now that that is absolutely not going to happen. Uh, yeah, 1.5 million. Net income is is down fairly substantially. Loan rate is at fifteen percent, but we're not. You see, look, we we shouldn't have we shouldn't have the CEO, we shouldn't have the CEO working on the loan rate, working to decrease the loan rate. If we don't have a loan, it's just that simple. It's simple economics. That's right. That's why I need to. That's why I need to. You know, be the uh, be the chairman of the board in this instance because it's it's. It's a problem. We can't have, we cannot have, we cannot have the CEO wasting his time working on the investment attractiveness of the company when we don't have a loan taken out. It's just not possible. Either take out a loan, expand the company, expand the workforce, or reallocate the CEO's competencies elsewhere. It's it's just that simple. It's just that simple. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Rhino Bar really could be managed a heck of a lot better than it currently is than it currently is being. But that's that's okay. You know, we can we can you know we can we can improve that over time. I'm sure we'll eventually control Rhino Bar. Uh, 487,000 stake in Rhino Bar. That's not too bad. Zenith. 
we want to try and liquidate our Zenith shares if possible. And same with uh, IDEO now. IDEO, you, whatever. Yeah, this was a little bit of a garbage investment, but I thought that I was going to be able to sell my shares to somebody else, and, uh, and I wasn't able to, as you know. Uh, ladies and gents, we are going to wrap this episode up right about here. Uh, tune in next time for uh, for more financial sharkery. Bear in mind, there's a little bit of merch on sale if you're interested. Then, uh, you know, go check it out. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks, as ever, to my fantastic patrons. I'll see you next time. Bye.